Good morning to you all, Ms. Ambula Vinaka, <laughs> President, my good friend, Mr. Nikonike, the First Lady. We're at university together, so I have that liberty. So. <laughs> Ralph, of course, is here. I also want to acknowledge my Kevata, the public prosecutor who I've worked with in the past here, Merlin Tahi. And I think at the end of all this, we should give her a standing ovation. <laughs> Your Excellencies, Julia Hunt, esteemed guests, the trustees of the Vanuatu Women's Center, and all the women past and present who are here. We also acknowledge those who are no longer with us. I must say it's been a pleasure to work with all of you, and I see my old friends like Annie Philemon, Janet, the two Janets, and so on, still here, still strong. I had the pleasure of working with most of you over the last 30 years, and really a pleasure to be here today. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here in front of you all. I have written some notes because I can talk on and on, so I'm keeping it very short. This is such a momentous day for the Vanuatu Women's Center. Thank you for inviting me to this launch. You beat us to it. Wait for our 40th. But I'm so glad that you have brought it to fruition, an idea that maybe in a hotel room we gave birth to. And we are here today. It's a great milestone, not only for the Vanuatu Women's Center, but all of us from the Pacific Women's Network Against Violence Against Women that is existing from 1992. <laughs> and for all the work we all have done on ending all forms of violence against women, girls, and children. While we celebrate Vanuatu Women's Center's existence, we also lament the fact that despite our aim to work ourselves out of business one day, Vanuatu Women's Center is still here 30 years later. The Fiji Women's Crisis Center is still here 38 years later. The Family Support Center from Solomon Islands is still here 27 years later. And I also acknowledge Lorio from the coordinator of the Family Support Center who's here with us. And more and more organizations are being set up to attend to this, to ending violence against women and children. New, the work keeps increasing, new challenges keep emerging. This is the nature of our work. Violence against women is a terrible, deeply ingrained scourge in our society. And eliminating it is a work in progress in all parts of the world, not only in Vanuatu and the Pacific. And we're part of that world. Despite all odds, Vanuatu Women's Center has survived 30 years and grown and strengthened and continues to do so. This book is a testimony to the leadership of Marilyn Tahi, one of the greatest Pacific feminist leaders that I have worked with. Her blood, sweat, and tears, and that of the women who have been so much a part of the center. I also want to acknowledge Juliet Hunt, Dr. Juliet Hunt. She is the one who started with us, Vanuatu Women's Center, the, the MNE expert, the risk management we learned from her. And our work has been enriched. Now we're taking over doing those numerous progress reports, the IDDs, the PDDs, and so on. But thank you very much, and she's still around to give a helping hand. I really want to acknowledge you, Julia. The book is VWC's story, and the story of the women of this nation, the women who work there and the women of this nation. It's very well thought out and very much in the style of VWC's work. And as Vola first said, and I must also acknowledge Vola, you know, she, uh, Marilyn has passed the baton on to her, 
and some of us will be passing the baton on too later on, and Vola is excelling at this point in time with all the other women. But as Vola said in the beginning, all our work is based on the experience of women and girls and their experiences of violence. All our advocacy and lobbying is based on how they experience the justice system, the social welfare system, and everything else. So listening to those women's voices, in this book, the women of, Viol of Vanuatu Women's Center, their mentors and supporters have spoken, including the men, the male advocates. And I see Yakin sitting there, one of the longest serving male advocates. Pastor Andrew is here also. Thank you very much. He is now the director of the training school. When I met him, he was a lower-ranked police officer, and he's been with us, attending all the meetings and so on with the others. The book will bring you joy, tears. I've been going through that for the last two nights. But in the end, a lot of tears. That's why I brought my tissue, in case I cry. A great sense of encouragement and empowerment. It is an unputdownable book and it will make you want to be a part of this ongoing story of women reclaiming their human rights. Remember, when women thrive, the nation thrives. And no one can deny that. We have the national leaders here, the Excellency the President. We've got political leaders here, we've got traditional religious leaders here, we've got the Commissioner of Police here, we've got the People's Prosecutor here. Please take a copy and read it of this book. You will also ask the question, what can I do? The book will make you ask that question, what more can I do? What can I do and what more can I do? And I leave you with that. I also acknowledge the Australian government which right from the beginning for us over 30 decades of support. The first, when we were struggling, you know, when we started, all of us, Madeline, we paid, those of us who were in employ paid employment, not the home employment, but paid employment, we helped out with the rent, with the water bills, with the, or our husbands did, or our partners did, all those things. Australia was the first country to recognize and, and offer multi-year funding. For the first time, Violence Against Women in the Pacific was recognized as a human rights and a development issue, not a social welfare issue. Then in later years, we have had New Zealand come on board, and most recently, UN Women, Oxfam, and so on, for Vanuatu Women's Center. But the Fiji Women's Center and most of the centers Solomon Islands, Tonga, and so on, are funded by the Australian government. It's not been smooth sailing. We do have our ups and downs. But in the spirit of partnership, we keep reminding people that we are equal partners in this, and uh, we're supporting each other in this. And the aim is to end all forms of violence against women. And you know, as the ANU guru Stephen Howe says, for a small amount of money that is given to ending violence against women, the returns are great. And this is how Australia should be doing and other partners should be doing business. Give the money to the women, they'll look after it very well. And you will see the results. You'll get all the data you need and so on. And it'll be all in your reports. But once again, before I finish, congratulations once again, the Vanuatu Women's Center. Merlin, Vola, all the trustees, may you continue to grow in strength and continue to work yourselves out of business one day. I also feel that it's not my place to launch this book alone, so I call Marilyn, Vola, Juliet, Kathy Bunny. We often forget Kathy. I met Kathy as a very young woman at the Sanma Counseling Center when I came for the opening. And now she has been there for over 20, 20 years, 25 years, and is running it very ably. So I'd like 
to have a mixture of the old and the new and the middle and so on, and we will launch the book out there. So, and also, Yakin. You know, we cannot forget the men. Often we tend to, because we see all the atrocities every day in our lives, but I would like Yakin also to come and do that for us. So we'll, Merlin? Thank you very much for listening.